Okay, so I'm ready to get started. Um, a couple things that you're gonna need for sure are some gloves, latex or whatever. If you're allergic to latex, uh, maybe some vinyl gloves or something. And these are just a one size fits all. They seem to be okay. Okay, um, lots of handy dandy towels. This is just one big bath towel that I've cut into a few different pieces. I will probably use this entire thing and you're gonna see why because there's a whole lot of waste involved with your stain when you do this technique. You're basically painting it on and then rubbing 90% of it back off again. Um, anyway, let's get started. Oh, and these little sponges, let me go up a little closer to you. These little sponges are awesome for doing staining. That little, that little pointed edge really gets into those cracks real good. Dip it right there into your stain. This is an oil-based stain. I'm just going to put that right on there, just like that. And I did stir this. This particular color that I'm using is called Early American by Verathane. This is an oil stain. Don't let it scare you. I'm going to do like a quarter section at a time on the top part here. This little pointy edge is wonderful for really getting into those details. sure it's stirred up real good. I wasn't real sure about that. This is a different brand than I used the last time. The last time I used Minwax. Really make sure, use that little pointy edge and work that into those crevices because that's where you're gonna get that, that shabby chic look is when you get that right into those crevices. Now, the paint that I used on this, of course, was a semi-gloss uh, paint, which I recommend uh, using that. Um, I think that if you used a flat finish paint it, the, the stain is going to grab too fast and it's going to be much harder to work with. And basically up until this point, all I did was um, I took my piece of furniture, which was not too pretty. It was old, hadn't been taken too good a care of, had some, you know, stains on it and such. And uh, I sanded it down just to take any sheen off of it from uh, the previous finish, which wasn't too hard to do on this one because it was so wore out. Uh, but I just sanded it down and then I vacuumed all the dust off of it and then wiped it down after that and um, then just started painting. The top of this took four, four coats uh, to really hide all the, the bad parts on it. 
The rest of it, I just did three coats on it. So after you get that on there, let it sit there for just a minute or two and start wiping it off. And how much you wipe depends, you know, how much of that stain you want to leave on there. I want to make sure I leave um, the stain in the crevices because that's where you get that shabby look. tell already this is going to be so pretty. You want to make sure you keep turning your towel as you go because once your towel gets soaked, then you're just kind of moving the stain around. You're not really wiping it off and you want to, uh, you know, wipe it off, just leaving it in certain areas. I actually bought three of these sponge sponges. I learned that from the last time that I did this, that uh, I tend to be a little hard on these sponges, but I, I like to really work it into those crevices. And try to do the places that you want it to stay the darkest first. That way you're, letting, you're gonna let it sit there for a little bit longer. Particular, I really want these heavily embellished areas to stand out. This particular brand of stain is actually a lot waterier, although it is an oil-based stain. It seems a lot waterier than the Minwax. This brand is called Verathane, but I'm kind of liking the waterier um, consistency because I don't want this piece to get super dark. I like it real light. I was really torn whether to even do this to it because it looked so pretty when it was white but just didn't have enough character you know What I'll do is once I get a good coating on everything, I'm probably going to go back over the areas that I want to add a little bit more 
of an emphasis on the embellishments. So I really want those to stand out nicely. Okay, we're going to move on to the sides and legs. Start with the sides first because that's the easy part. I know it's a mess and it looks like you're ruining your piece you've just worked so hard on to paint but in the end it's going to be awesome. Okay, so it's just about done. I just went over a few places on the top where I, I wanted to have a little bit more dark in those crevices. And you can see it's really turned out nice. The only step left to do is I will let this set up oh, for about an hour or so. And then I'll just do a light coat of a polyurethane oil based because now that you have the stain on there you don't want to use anything water based or latex um, on that or it's going to cause you real problems You want to look it over real good, make sure everything looks even, and, and touch up any areas that maybe you touched with your gloves and left little smudges. Now I'm using a pretty dry towel at this point. Try not to rub too hard in the areas where I want the stain to stay. What? I really can't wait to do that clock behind me now. That's pretty much it. I'm more out. I hope it was helpful. See you guys later.